I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on implicit differentiation. Find two points on the ellipse 5x square minus 6xy plus 5y square equals to 16 at which the tangent is horizontal. Now when we say tangent is horizontal basically we mean dy dx equals to 0 correct? That's what we mean. So this function has combination of x, y and it's very difficult to isolate y. So we will perform implicit differentiation. Let me rewrite the question here. It is 5x square minus 6xy plus 5y square equals to 16. Differentiating both sides with respect to x, we get d dx of 5x square minus d dx of 6xy plus d dx of 5y square right, equals to d dx of 16. Now here we get 10x derivative of 5x square minus now the derivative of xy so we have to apply the product rule right so let me write it in brackets minus outside derivative of 6x is is 6 so we get 6y plus 6x times derivative of y which is dy dx correct plus now whenever it is d dx of y square kind we'll find dy dx uh, rather like this derivative of y with respect to y times dy dx so we applied the chain rule here is it okay derivative of a constant is always zero now let's rewrite simplify this a bit so we get 10x minus 6y minus 6x dy dx here the derivative is plus 2 times 5 is 10 so we get 10y dy dx equal to 0 now we can always take dy dx common and take these terms on the right side correct so I'm doing two operations at the same time so what I will do here is on the these terms dy dx let's start with dy dx and we'll take these terms common so I'm considering these two so 10y minus 6x do you see that minus 6x so I've considered these two terms equal to these two terms I'm taking to the right side so I got 6y minus 10x is it okay so from here we get dy dx equals to 6y minus 10x divided by 10y minus 6x correct so that becomes the derivative for the given function now if you look at the question it says at which point the tangent is horizontal right we need to find two points on this ellipse at which the tangent is horizontal that means dy dx is zero so we'll equate this term to zero so if i equate this to zero it really means this is for horizontal tangent now we are equating dy dx to zero so that basically implies that 6y minus 10x equals to zero so if the numerator is zero denominator should not be zero then the derivative will be zero now solving this we get 6y equals to 10x correct and we can write x in terms of y or y in terms of x so let us write we can divide 6 by 10 y equals to x or x is equals to 3 over 5 is it okay x is 3 over 5 let me call this as equation number 1 I'll substitute this value of x in our original equation which is 5x square minus 6xy plus 5y square equals 16 to find the value of y is it okay so let's substitute x equals to 3 over 5 y in this equation so so let's do the substitution so we'll sub 
x equals to 3 over 5y in equation, let's call this as 2 for the time being, into, then what do we get? 5x squared, that means 5 times x is now 3 over 5y squared, is it okay? Minus 6xy minus 6 times 3 over 5y, we have y already, so it becomes y squared, plus 5y squared plus 5y squared equals to 16. Is that okay? Correct. So let's simplify this. 3 squared is 9, y squared, 25, and this is 5, so we're left with 5 here, minus 18 over 5y squared plus 5y squared equals to 16. Now, we can multiply everything by 5, so we get 9y squared minus 18y squared plus 25y squared equals to 5 times 16, right? Or 80. 5 times 16. Combining these terms, we get, we get what? 9 minus 18 is minus 9 minus 9 plus 25 gets 16, right? So we get 16 y squared equals to 80 and that gives us y equals to 80, I mean 80 divided by 16 square root, right? y squared square root, which is plus minus, is it okay? So we are combining two, three things here and that gives me plus minus square root of 5. Is it okay? So we get a value of y as plus minus square root of 5. We can fi find the value of x. Uh, let's take it here. So x is equals to 3 over 5 of plus minus square root of 5. Is it okay? So, so that gives us x value of plus minus 3 over square root 5. Perfect. And therefore, we have two points. If square root 5 is positive, so one point is plus 3 over square root 5 for positive 5 square root, right? And the other one is minus 3 over square root 5 from negative square root of 5, y value, correct? So these are the two points at which the slope of the tangent to the given curve is going to be zero, horizontal, correct? And that's all we can do it. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.